Hey, it's Tom here, and welcome back to Subnautica. We are going to go and explore uh, the last couple of signals that we have to go and find. But first, apparently, I had a cheeky peek. I, I went on like a spoiler-free thing of like hints, and it was saying that basically just constantly be checking your uh, your notes. So I guess we'll play this. I said wait for the storm to pass. Player one has been washed away. Wait, what? Oh, VR, so, okay. <laughs> I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Man. Okay, right. We don't we probably don't need to listen to this. How uh, where was it? it? I should have data on like the next locations. I remember it coming up. Oh, did it did I die? In no, I didn't die after I scanned everything in there. I should have a list somewhere of like other facilities to go to, but I, I can't seem to find it. Purple tablet. Yeah, no, it's weird. I can't find it. Okay, well, either way, we'll go to... Um, I think we have a new message in the escape pod, so we'll go and have a look at that first. And then I think we should probably just go to the signals, get the PDAs and read them and whatever. Uh, and just see if we can get some hints about where to go next, I guess. This what is we got? Okay. Rotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're gonna last. Uh, what one's closer? So bring radiation protection. Four out. Wait, I swear there was more than one. Oh, there we go. Approximate transmission origin recorded. It's life pod four. Where? Where is it? Ugh. It's flower man. Where? Where's the aurora? There we go. Right. So they should. What? You said they've crashed out near the Aurora. Where the fuck are they? Life pod 13. Life pod 19. Do I have to read the PDA? Like, where the hell is it? Codes and clues. Life pod 4. Okay. Oh, okay. This, that's why. Okay, right. <laughs> 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. So where the big boy is, basically. <laughs> right, okay. Um, right. Well, I'll go to the ones that are just straight up, like, on the map. Welcome aboard, Captain. So that one's 800. No one's closer. Let's go to this one. So, yeah. If you want to, like, let me know where some facilities are, or where I can at least find the information, feel free to do so. Because it definitely said, oh, like, you've, you've downloaded data of other facility locations, but I can't seem to find it in my PDA. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place. I don't know. But you can... Oh, that's the wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> I should probably repair that. Um, do I have the repair to want me? Yes, I do. There we go. <laughs> I pressed RB instead of LB and just went straight into the floor. Alright, so I should... Uh, I should get a PDA when I go to Life Pod 19 and the other one. And then we'll go and have a look. Oh, God, I keep pressing the wrong button. We'll go and have a look at the other one as well. And... Uh, whoop. See where that goes. Wow, this looks pretty deep. 400 meters down, alright. I don't know what's going to be down here. We might get another spooky Squidward boy. But we'll have a little look. We're probably going to have to leave this up here. Or it will start just getting crushed. So... Should be okay. I'm just keeping an eye out. Oh, go up, go up, go up. Jesus, okay. Let's have a little look around before we get out. I mean, it's fucking spooky, but we seem okay, so I'll get out. Oh, do I have my rebreather on? I do, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where is it? There we go. Alright, we're probably going to have to be pretty quick about this. But let's go have a little peek. Oh, this is cool. I haven't got time. I haven't got time to fuck around. I need to... Okay, this is not... Whoa, where's the signal gone? Oh, it's over there. Okay, you know what we should probably do? We should probably get, like, right above it. And then just go straight down. Would probably be the better thing to do. So, I, f I feel like we're making good progress, though. I mean, we found the quarantine building thing with a gun on it and whatever. So, I feel like that's a good step. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have to start going really deep soon. So I should probably try and somehow see if I can get a mod so that this can go deeper or something. There must be, like, something, right? Warning. Maximum depth 
Yes, I know. What button is it to put shit away? Oh, not that button. Oh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. We're here anyway. All right, let's have a little look. So we've got the PDA there. Anything in here we can use? Doesn't really look like it. It's probably just the PDA. All right, cool. Can we? No, oh, special. Okay, no, no, we can't. No, we cannot, unfortunately. All right, well, we got that one anyway, so we'll get back to the seam off. And then we'll give that a little read. See if it's got any hints for us. Alright, PDA. Uh, let's have a look. So, Aurora Survivors. Aurora's coming in. Life pods attached. Planet for in 30 seconds. Computer is identifying landmass attached. Coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Wait, what coordinates? Attached coordinates. I don't see any attached coordinates. Okay. Fine. Uh, keep sure one piece of going to contact you. A long range I'm attempt to control descent. Explosion. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this is going to say the same thing. There's no attached coordinates unless it's just given them to me? No. Alright. Weird. I don't know why it didn't, but sure. Alright, let's go to the next one. It's carrying higher priority passenger remains. Let's go have a little peek. This is probably just going to be kind of like a driving around scavenging for things sort of episode probably not as exciting as an alien base unless we accidentally find one somehow but we'll see how things go this is very eerie oh it's right it's just the whale boys i was like what is that what the fuck is that noise but it's just it's the whales it's the whale boys it's okay don't panic oh <laughs> see me flinch oh. it's gonna come out the screen and get me Man, this is like some fucking Jurassic Park shit. You know that massive one that lives in the water that just comes up and like jumps out and eats the birds or whatever it does. I can't remember what it does. Alright, but it jumps out of the water. I'm imagining that just coming flying out of the ravine and just getting me. It's alright, we've got the whale boys to protect us. We're all good. We're all good. I'm not nervous at all. Don't worry about it. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's just a plant. Okay. It looked like a hologram for a second but nope just a plant much less interesting oh, man. I really like the environments and stuff in this like that dark one I was in just now was spooky as fuck they really set a good tone like there's no there was like no music as well it just went pitch black and there's just, it's just silent and like when you come in this zone it goes green I just I like it, it sets a good mood you know whoa that is de whoa okay Got some underwater mushrooms going on. It just got really dark all of a sudden, even though we're not even that much deeper. Whoa, what are they? What the fuck? We found a new biome. Oh, this is cool as shit. Wait, are we like underneath like a... No, you can see the top. Okay, I don't know why it's got so dark. I mean, maybe it's not, well, probably it's night time thinking about it. In this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint. Oh, these are cool. Signatures. I don't know if they're dangerous. I mean, they seem to be just leaving me alone, but oh, this is cool, man. I was literally just saying how I like the environments and stuff, and then we find a new one. All right, hopefully they're not aggressive. I guess we'll find out when I get out of the life pod. Okay, seems fine. Oh, hello. Can I come in? Got the abandoned PDA. Are there any scannables? Mm, doesn't look like it. I want to scan one of these big boys. See what they are. Can I not scan them? There we go. The jelly ray. Alright, they're definitely not hostile, which is nice. Jelly ray. Cool. Alright, that's two signals done. The other one we're going to have to go to the Aurora, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be right next to the Leviathan or whatever it's called. So, that will be interesting to do, but sure. Uh, oh yeah, we should probably look at the PDA. Where is it? Uh, create, my creator is the cherishers and sustainers of worlds. Give me this day of my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Show me the path in life. Okay, is he like praying or something? 
fuck some big bang outside uh okay yeah so he's just like praying or something so where i'm really confused give me a second I'll, I'll cut this out of me just looking for this but i'm gonna see if i can find these locations okay i've, I've, I've literally just gone through every single one of these scan datas and artifacts and not a single one of them and terminal data as well not a single one is saying about like other locations so maybe it didn't download Hold up, where? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it didn't download. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know. I, I feel like it just didn't download because it said that I got these locations and I just don't have them. So I'm just going to make my way back towards the life pod. And I guess... I mean, I guess I'll go and try and find the, um, the life pod that's near the Aurora, near the Leviathan. So that will be interesting. And hopefully that PDA will have some sort of information for me. I mean, that one said that there was coordinates attached, but I guess they were kind of pointless because they died, so they never got to the coordinates. So that, that makes sense. But I don't know. It's weird. It, it definitely popped up saying, like, you've a list of facilities and locations and whatever, but I just can't find them. And there's no signals or anything, so I have no idea. It's really weird. It's very strange. Right. We're back at the life pod. What the hell? I think a fish just swam into our thing. Anyway, uh, okay, do we have any water? Because that is... No, we do not. Okay, so quickly, before we go on any sort of adventure, can we find some bladder fish? In fact, let's grab some peepers as well. Let's grab everything, don't matter. Just anything. We can eat all of it. Except this boy. Apparently he's too big. We're... Uh... There we go, grab some peepers. That'll probably be enough. Okay, now we just need bladder fit. Whoa! Doing some sort of absolute gamer spin over there. Um, it's got to be bladder fish somewhere. Surely. Oh, well, it doesn't really. Oh, there we go, there's one. So there's two bottles of water. Where else? Peepers, peepers. There's one. I see him. You can't... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> there we go. All right. That'll do. Oh, there's a fourth one here. I might as well grab him. If we can. There we go. All right. So let's get some food and water ready for the journey. And then let's make our way over to the Aurora. I'm not going to take the seam off because I have a feeling that that will get blown up. So I'm just going to swim over there normally. And hopefully we can... You know, not die <laughs> would be nice and actually find what we're looking for. But you never know. Oh, you know what? Actually, while we're here, I wanted to do this last time and forgot. Yes, I know. Emergency power. <sighs> uh oh. <laughs> that was bad timing. I should have gone in the base first. Let's go back to the top quick. Oh, there we go. So I want to build... I want to rebuild that again. But on top of this. Because it just looks a bit nicer. I think so, anyway. Let's get it right in the middle. There we go. It's close enough. There we go. Very nice. It, it just looks a bit nicer than randomly plonked on like the tube part. Alright, let's cook some shit up. That might have been a bit stupid because this is going to use power now. Although it is the middle of the day, so the power is shooting up pretty quick. So, we should be all good. Alright, get some more water on the go. Uh, another one. Oh yeah, we've got four, didn't we? Let's get another one on the go. I don't think water expires, so we should be all good. These will expire, so I'm just going to cook the whole fish and one peeper. And eat them both and see how that gets us. See how that gets us. Um, yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. Yeah, so I'm going to leave the seam off here. Because I don't really want to risk getting that killed. Because it costs... Well, it doesn't cost loads. But, you know, I'd rather just not have it blown up. So I think, if I remember rightly... The best way to do it... Is go... To, like straight to the Aurora go like up against the side of it because it's less likely that the Leviathan is going to be there um, but we need to get to where was it 
I'd rather read it now than when I get this. Let's have a look. Uh, it was... Oh, shit. Stay away from the cowboys. Right. Uh, I forget where it is. PDA? No, Aurora Survivors. There we go. So it'll be... No, not Aurora Survivors. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it was in Signals. That's right. No, it wasn't. Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've just fucking found the facility locations. I was looking in the alien data because, you know, alien facilities. I was thinking, oh, it'll probably be in, like, in here somewhere. Nope, it's in Codes and Clues. Which, I mean, it makes sense. But I knew that it was alien related. So, anyway, whatever. Oh, oh wow. 800 meters and 1,200 meters. All right, we, we, we can't quite go for them just yet. I think before we go for them, we're going to have to get some depth modules or whatever for uh, for the uh, Seamoth. All right, anyway. Where, where is it? Is it? Oh, I'm so stupid. I literally, I got so distracted by the alien facility locations, I didn't see life pod four and six underneath it. Jesus Christ. I got so distracted. Okay. Uh... I don't have to worry about the radioactive anymore because I fixed that. So it's just the 150 meters northwest of Aurora's port midsection. Port shit. I don't know what side that is. Oh wait, but I can see in the picture that the back of it is on the right, which means you'd be facing it from the left side. Because if you're looking at it from the right side, the engines would be on your left. So it's this side. So port is left. So 150 meters northwest of the left midsection. All right, so let's just... We're going to make our way... Oh, God. Uh, for a second, I, 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 I don't know. I just thought I saw something right there for a second. I don't even know what it was, but... Okay, we're going to just go straight for the side of it to get out of the deep water because I don't think the Leviathan can get us if we're not in the deep water. And we're going to make our way to the midsection. We're going to go northwest. And hopefully, <laughs> we're going to be okay and not get fucking eaten. Oh god, this is squeaky bummer time. This is fucking pucker up and hope for the best. Uh, where is he? If I see where he is, I'll feel better about things. Okay, we're in we're in the shallow water, so I feel a bit better about things. I don't know why I don't know why everything's so yellow. And you know what? I don't care. We're just gonna keep going. The only problem is northwest is straight that way, which is very bad because that means we it's it's basically it's basically forcing us to go out into the deep water. Is this the midsection? Would you say? Yeah, I'd say this is the midsection. Okay. So northwest straight from here. Oh Jesus. This is not this is not you know what? Let's save the game before we do this. <laughs> because I feel like this is just not gonna go well. Oh god, yep, it's making us it's purposely making us go right into the fucking deep. Oh my god, fucking Okay. This is fine. This is fine. No big deal. How far is 150 meters though? I don't know. What was that? Oh, okay, it's just a shock. It's just a shock. I mean, that's still bad, but... It's, it's not as bad as it could have been. Okay, what's this? No, that's not it. Maybe I didn't go far enough? I mean, I think the gist of their log is that they got killed by the Leviathan, so it's probably going to be over by it. I think we've probably gone too far back at this point. Okay, let's let's go. Let's head. Where's Northwest there? So we want to go this way. Okay. I mean, we could just skim along the it until we see it, but it's going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that made me... Uh... A bit nervous there. Okay, yeah, we were like more towards the back. We want to go more this way, so. 
Oh god, it is now pitch black. Absolute pitch black. Alright, you know what? Let's just stay at the top and let's make our way back to the Aurora. And we'll see if we can scoot along a little bit. I think I left a bit prematurely. Fuck, at, like, actually fuck this though. Like, if this was real life, I have never ever been in the ocean at night because it freaks me out. I don't know what I'm like treading on, if there's going to be something underneath me. Like, it's just a big nope from me. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, it's a big old nope from me. So this would freak me out. I would not ever go in here at night. In fact, it, as soon as something tried to kill me, I'd probably try to not go in here at all. And somehow just float around hoping someone would turn up. So I would basically be fucked. Because <laughs> they would turn up to save me. They'd get blown up and I, I wouldn't even know about it. Because I wouldn't have been up to the task of going to see what was going on. Alright, I think... Don't, please, don't make noises like that. Alright, I can hear it. I can hear the big boy. Alright. I'd prefer it if it was daytime, but we don't really have much of a choice in that matter. I think this is probably about halfway... <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> I need to brace myself. All right, got a new battery. Here we go. It's fine, it's just sharks. It's just sharks. All right. I think we're okay. I mean, I assume it's going to have sunk to the bottom. So. Oh, nice. Uh, where is it? There we go. Very nice. Oh, let's go. Okay. Wait, we've ended up back here. How? <laughs> Oh wait, or was it floating at the... I mean, in the picture, it looked like it was floating at the top, actually, thinking about it. I mean, I'm going to have a little explore around here anyway, because it seems like there's Cyclops parts here, which is cool. A moon pool fragment. Alright. Oh yeah, we already have that. I mean, either way, there's fragments and stuff here, so we might as well have a little look around. I do seem to remember in the picture it being actually on the surface, though, which is... A little bit concerning. You know what? Let's, let's let's go to the surface. It might be right above us and we just somehow didn't see it. So Let's go. I'm very nervous. But whatever. It's fine. Ah, oh, there it is. Found it. There it is. There we go. It's upside down. I don't like how dark it is underneath me. But we found it. I was right. I, I can't seem to get on it though. I guess I can just... There we go. Okay. Anything? Open data box. Creature decoy. Okay. Alright, let's... Uh... Just have a little peek. Make sure he's not here. Okay, go, go. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's go straight towards the Aurora. Get to the shallows and go back that way. Because I don't really want to risk this. Okay, they definitely got killed by the Leviathan. I think it being on the surface is probably on purpose. Because I'm pretty sure where that was. If I had gone straight down, I possibly would have seen the Leviathan. So, that makes a bit of sense. I'm very sweaty. One, because I was kind of nervous, and two, because it's very hot in this room. And, well, and and three, because I played Pogo Stuck right before this, and it was absolute, just a nightmare. I'm never playing that game again. <laughs> like I said in Pogo Stuck, unless that video gets an exceptional amount of views, and everyone absolutely loves it, and is like, please, please, please play it again, it's not happening. It's not worth it. It gives me actual conniptions. For real, not even joking. 
Alright, what is this? Can I... Oh, I don't need a cutter. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I don't. I can get in here. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's so disorienting when that happens. Oh, oh it's so weird. Okay. Uh, I should have a flashlight. I do. There we go. Oh god, it's gonna be one of these sort of things again. Oh, let me get um, let me get some oxygen if we're gonna do this. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna save again now that we've got the PDA and stuff because I don't know what happens when you die. I don't know if it takes you back to like a previous save or or what. So, grav trap fragment beacon. Oh, beacon. We don't have a beacon yet. No, we don't. If I can get a beacon, that'd be really useful because my other base. Uh, right next to where it gets really deep. Yes, let's go. I can get one. Yeah, my other base that I made um, right where we met Evil Squidward. Oh, hello. Who is this? Um, yeah, that base is like... I know where it is because if I go a certain direction straight from the life pod, I'll eventually get to it. But I don't actually have it marked on the map because we didn't have beacons unlocked. So now that we've got beacons unlocked, I can make one, take it to our secondary base uh, that's right on the brink of 200 meters, and then I can drop a beacon so that I'll never lose it. And then I'll always know where that base is. So what I can then do, I can make a base... What? Well, it's already made. I've got the base at 200 meters. I can then go down and make one at, you know... What was that? Oh god, what the fuck? That's that scared the shit out of me. The waves, there's like metal underneath us. The waves moving, it looked like some big creature was underneath me. I was like, please, no. Um, that's just seaweed. It's just seaweed. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can get... Uh, we've got a base at 200 meters. We can make a base at 400, 600, 800, one, like, and keep going down. Every 200 meters, have a new base. Just make like a, a single multi-purpose room. And then just keep going down and down and down. And, and I can drop a beacon on each one. Because that way we uh, we can keep track of where they all are. Ooh. I don't think we need any of this. We can't open that, apparently. Is there any point to this room? Or is it just... I can't open it. Can I repair it or anything? Or Nope. Alright. Weird. It's just a room with nothing in it. Oh, it's just got more beacon fragments. Okay. I mean, I guess, yeah. All right, cool. All right, we'll go back to the life pod. But uh, yeah, that is the plan to get down to the alien facilities now that we know that they are deep down. So, oh, hello. Sea glide fragment. Oh, wait, we've already got a sea glide. You know what? We'll scan it anyway. Get some, get some stuff. Got a, if, I can, if I can get there. There we go. Grab trap. So if we can get two more hole pieces for the Cyclops, I think we'll actually be able to make a full-on Cyclops, which would be obviously very good. So, I mean, we found it sort of over in that direction. I don't think we need to go from the Aurora to get there. Well, we know we don't because we went there before in the like little mushroom place with the Jelly Rays. So we're going to go there again at some point. And hopefully find some more Cyclops hull fragments. But I think this has gone pretty good. I mean, it was a bit confusing at first. Because I was being kind of stupid with the data pad. But we got there in the end. Uh, you know, I've got some got the blueprint for the beacons. Which is going to be really useful for marking where my, and, you know, my bases are and stuff. In fact, I'm going to put one on Donut Base now. I know I sort of don't need to. Because it's right next to the life pod. But I don't know if, it, if the life pod may be like... I don't know if something's going to happen to the life pod eventually. Maybe once you've received all of the radio transmissions, it runs out of power or it drifts away. I don't know. So it's probably safer to just mark the base just to make sure I don't lose it. So we'll do that now. And like I say, I'll, I'll find out where roughly the alien facilities are. And then what I'll do, I'll make, like I said, I'll make one base at 200 meters, then four, then six, then eight. And then I think that one was at 800 meters. So then we'll be at the facility. We'll have a little explore. Uh, let me just close all this. Uh, 
800 meters cave system with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Okay, so if we go, okay, so if we go back to the, um, what was it called? I've already lost it. Enforcement platform. Then we can put one. I'll put a beacon at the enforcement platform so we don't have to rely on the compass all the time. We just know where it is. I don't know if you can name beacons. Hopefully you can. Uh, and then yeah, we'll just go straight. Uh, I'm losing my words here. Where is it? It's fossil southwest. So yeah, we'll go southwest. But what we'll do, we'll go to the southwest side, southwest side of the island, and go straight down to 200 meters. Build a base, and then like I say, every 200 meters, just put down a multi-purpose room, just for oxygen. Although we'll have to build f generators and stuff actually. So maybe if I can get away with it, if I can swim fast enough. Then we could do every 400 meters. So yeah, we could we could do. Well, we know we can go to 200 meters with the sea moth, and then we can probably get down another 200 meters with the sea glide. So if we just make sure we have the materials to make a multi-purpose room and a generator, we can go to 200 with the sea moth, go down another 200 with the sea glide, and make a base at 400, and then we can just go from there maybe then we do 800 which is where that is so then there's only we'll only need two multi-purpose rooms and a generator for each of those rooms so what will that actually be uh that's an air pump uh, i mean actually yeah we could make an air pump oh no we'd have to make a base first that doesn't work um do we not have a bio reactor like Oh, there it, oh, it goes inside. That's why. Okay, so yeah, if we make two bioreactors and make sure we have enough material to make two multi-purpose rooms, then we can, yeah, make one at 400, one at 800, and then that will be sorted. Then we have, we have like little oxygen checkpoints, and then at 200 meters, we just jump in the seamoth, so that'll be fine. Or even better, if we can find a depth module for the seamoth, we don't have to fuck around with any of that stuff. We can just... Say like it extends the range to 400 meters, then we can only have to do one base. We go down to 400, swim to 600, put down a base, and that's then the midpoint between the seam off and the facility. So anyway, enough waffling. That is probably going to be it for today. Um, what did I want to do here before we end it off? Uh, oh yeah, make a beacon. What does it cost? Copper and titanium. We have plenty of that, I believe. We do. Good. Okay, I was going to say, they, they should be cheap. Um, oh, we have a creature decoy as well. A Trex creature to its location can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Oh, okay. So, you probably... I assume you can't kill the Leviathan. You can kill the smaller one. Like the little... Um, the Stalkers and the Sand Sharks and stuff. But I assume you can't kill a Leviathan. So, I guess, yeah, you just throw one of these out. And it will go and attack that instead of you. So... We'll probably we should make some of these as well at some point but for now let's get a beacon going very nice and let's go swim on down to donut town i'm lost where oh wait we're already in donut town i thought we, for some reason i thought we was in the life pod uh and then so if we put it in a quick slot and then what do we do here? Just drop it. RT. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. And it doesn't float to the top either. It floats in place, which is good. Which, yeah, that makes sense. So if it floated to the top, they would just be completely useless. You'd be like 2,000 meters down. And it just goes boop. Just fucking shoots off to the top. Okay, and I think we can rename this. Oh, okay. You can't rename them, so we're going to have to remember what ones are what. But I'll make this, like... We'll leave that one as blue. Um... Can I rename it if I go up to it? No, I'll just pick it up. Okay, that's, that's fine. It doesn't matter too much. We just have to remember that Beacon 1 is Donut Base. And then whatever else... You know, Beacon 2 will probably be the enforcement platform... And so on and so forth. Anyway, this last bit of the episode has been me waffling on about what we're going to do next. So that is going to be it for today because I'm sweating like a madman. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. So yeah, 
Uh, like I say, next episode, we will uh, make our way back to the enforcement platform, put down a beacon so we always know where it is, and then we will make our way, if we can, uh, to the alien facility at 800 meters down. And that, hopefully, will give us some good shit. Uh, what I might do before that is try and get a Cyclops on the go, because if we can get a Cyclops, I think they can go pretty damn deep. But I'm not sure. I'd have to check. But I think they can go a lot deeper than the Seamoth, so... If I can get one of those, that would be very nice. But anyway, like I said, too much waffling. That's going to be it for today. So, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget the like button and comment down below. i subscribe to the channel for more videos. And that stuff is massively appreciated. <laughs> ah, getting muffled. Blah, blah, blah. Very muddled up there. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.